Hi there! Are you ready to walk what once was the most dangerous footpath in the world? Driving north from Mabea past the whitewashed city of Ochen, we're making our way up into the hills with sea views to die for. El Choro is the village where the Caminito del Rey ends up and the drive is a spectacular one, passing mountains into flat terrain. Coming off the main road, the weather suddenly turns all Scottish and so does the countryside. Next, we're heading down to the southern axis of the Caminito. Holy Moses, we're walking this! You can also arrive by train and learn about all the birds and the bees upon arrival before you head to the northern axis entrance by bus. Parking here at the end is a clever thing to do, as you can then walk straight back to your car after the walk, rather than taking the bus back up the mountain when you're tired. Okay, we're going to the Caminito del Rey. Be prepared to pull your pants because we're going to go down some gorgeous and suspension bridges and see eagles flying. Yes. Yep, must pick up a helmet at the entrance before setting off. So the one thing I hate the most, got to be honest, I've got this quiff and I have to put a net on. They cannot be serious, honestly. Do I really have to? And whilst I'm concerned about my looks, I'm being told, oh, shut up, Cloud, just get on with it, will ya? Walking around the first bend, dramatic countryside and deep cliffs and gorges immediately await, giving you a small inkling about why it was such a good idea to restore the walk that was once called the walk of death. Kids and youngsters from 8 to 18 have to be accompanied by an adult, which is understandable considering the drop down to the Guadalose riverbed flowing through this scary valley. Wow! Yep, this is not for the faint-hearted as the one metre plus wide walkway is literally pinned onto the steep walls of the rock. It's not difficult to see why vultures are cruising the sky here. Snaking through the landscape, the three kilometre long footpath is often easier than you think along this first part, following the river, but then you never know what awaits around the corner of these prehistoric giants. It's amazing, even disinfectant gel dispensers make this hike a safe one. Chose the hat for a bit of attitude, but check this. Oh wow, is this canyon where we're heading? Walking this middle stretch is a doddle, whilst guided tours can take over three hours and all the while regular signage clearly shows you exactly where you are. Easy! Looking back to where we came from, the valley and its rock formation are simply stunning. Looking down, however, is a totally different ball game. This is where you really appreciate the refurbished pathway. God, the old one looks horrendous. And this is the most famous shot of the whole walk. Check this gorge. Bloody hell, what a view! I can't wait to get onto that bridge! And whilst it's selfie time for some, I am super keen to sample the 105 meter high hanging bridge myself. The dramatic nature of the Los Gaitanes Gorge is quite impressive. But what's even more impressive is the fact that the Industrial Revolution in the 19th century enabled engineers to blast their way through huge dolomite rock formations to build incredible tunnels and viaducts connecting Malaga with the rest of southern Spain. Finally, yes! What a feeling! This is absolutely amazing! This is what flying must be like! Well, now it gets interesting. This is the narrow pathway that we could see from the bus ride on our way up to the northern axis entrance, basically clinging onto the rock like a bird's nest. Coming down the steps, just don't look down to the ground through the decking or you might just pee your pants. The view from up here is utterly awesome. However, getting back onto the straight of the boardwalk was quite a relief. Telling the story of this famous railway line, you'll find these billboards at the end of the walk after you've made it onto terra firma safely, so only about 30 metres of footpath to go. It's quite a feat what we've just done, considering the full refurbishment of the Caminito was carried out only in 2015 after being in disrepair for 15 years. Oh my god, I still can't believe it. The bridge and boardwalk looks so tiny from over here. 
guys, I've just done it. A brave walk indeed, and not just for Malaga. Now it's your turn. Wow, what a wicked experience! Did you enjoy your Caminito hike with us today? Then do subscribe to our fab and free VIP newsletter online at tada.tv and on YouTube too. That was fantastic and is definitely another item ticked off on the bucket list. Thanks for your company today and we'll see you at our next adventure. Stay safe and adios!